This one, uh, and this one. Your baby, come here. And this one, uh, and this one. Uh. Get out of my way. I am leaving here. Sorry, ma. There's no confirmation of that from the boss. Then you go in and confirm from him. I have a boss to catch. Let me personally confirm from him. Hey, watch her. Do not allow her to get out of this compound. Really?
You are not authorized to leave this compound. What? What are you doing here? Your guns won't let me out. Why? You asked me to leave your house and I was about to win so. I asked you to leave my bedroom, not my house. To leave your room. Then I'm no longer your wife. And my services in this house is no longer needed. You are not in the position to define who you are. I define you as your husband. The day I paid your bride price, you automatically became my prop. You want to leave my house, who then will refund me for all the money I spent during your traditional marriage? You remember what happened on that day? Doings. Assorted dishes, all kind of drinks. Come, come on, you can't pay me back, can you? You can't reform me because you are a poor woman. You are a nobody and your father is a nobody. You are just an ordinary housewife. That's why I am your wife. My friend, will you shut up? You don't talk when I'm talking. As I was saying before you really interrupted me, I will place you on 6,000 monthly salary. When you raise my money, Refund me, then you can talk about leaving my house. Now get out. Get out. I hate repeating myself. Let me hear my doings for the day. Okay, boss. You have an appointment with your friend, Mr. Collins, at the office from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. From there, you will visit a barbing salon for your haircut from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. You will have a lunch with Miss Adesua from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. And from there, you proceed to the National Archives where you will spend just an hour, and you will be out of there by 3.30 p.m. You have an appointment with your doctor from 3.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Then you are to attend a golf course from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. From there, you will spend two hours in Velveta Bar, and from Velveta Bar, you will proceed to a nightclub where you spend three hours before retiring home. Council Velveta Bar. All right. Start the cars on the ACs. Let them steam for 15 minutes. Then we go. All right, boss. <laughs>
Hello, mommy. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Um. Not now, mom. Or less. It's something serious. and defile me and get away with it, right? Officer, that's the bastard that raped me. Arrest him. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, officer. How are you? We are fine. We came here to make an arrest, but it's obvious we're in the wrong place. Officer, what are you saying? He is the bastard that raped me. Arrest him. That's why you're here. Do your job. Now shut up and listen. You shameless, bottomless pit. I need one, but they want. Take her away. We are sorry for the embarrassment, sir. Sorry, sir. Now you are under arrest for leading us to a, a wrong residence. Now move! Officer, he was Move! 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 I don't have time for mumbo jumbo. Summarize the message on that file. Well, the summary is that there are no case are winning the case against you. They are winning the case against me. Yes, You should be ashamed to say that before my face. They are winning the case against me. Why then do I have you as my lawyer? The proof of ownership is there. You. They have a very strong proof against you. Proof of ownership is not in contest, okay? I am not claiming the ownership of that house, no. What I want is for them to refund me the 40 million naira I spent building on that land for their son. No, they have strong evidence against you. Even the 40 million naira you are talking about, the value, the structure, and everything is not up to the amount. So asking them to pay additional money, my brother, is not possible. It's not going to work out. It's obvious you're a chicken-hearted fellow. You've given up, right? You've given up without a fight. See, Jasper, we've been friends since high school days. I know when something is possible and when it is not. You know what? No. From this moment, you cease to be my lawyer. <laughs> Where is there? What do you want? I really don't know what to prepare. So I came to ask what to prepare for her before he comes back. Ella. 
or should I call you my co-wife? You know, the last time I checked, you are now his wife and I do it. So, um, I should be the one asking you, Ma, what can I prepare for you and Oga before he returns? Ma? I'm sorry, Ma. Just leave. Ma, please, I'm good. Leave. Is the head red around? Why there's been no kind of explanation to all the crazy things you've done? Oh, yeah. and chase them out. Eh, eh. My name is Jasper, a.k.a. I don't want but then where. And so? Who cares? Whatever I want, I get because the world is my playground. But you don't have the right to come into my shop and start harassing my customer eh, eh. just because you want to bab. Kneel down. Even if you don't have respect, you should have fear. Respect you on your bunko. Never ban no zetoka. How much do you make here monthly? Sometimes I I make fifty thousand naira in a month or forty five thousand naira in a month. Forty-five or fifty thousand dollars. Yes. I will place you on four hundred thousand naira monthly salary. Your job is to come back me at home anytime I call. Just home service. Yes. In a month, four hundred thousand naira. How many times will I buy you in a month? Just two times. Is it okay? Boss. Two days. This is to show you I'm serious. Exactly. 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 Bulletproof, boss. Collect his number. My mouth on, in case my phone. Slap me. I'm paying me right. Slap me where? I'm paying me right. Money. 
I've not seen this kind of money before now. Just in No, 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 no. Exactly! I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Slap me more and pay me right. In fact, I'm putting here today. I'm putting here! Okay, make sure. Hey, Mr. Kwame. Hey, Mr. I am so sorry, please. Listen, listen, I don't want to hear your voice again. Baby, why are you talking like this? Huh? Please forgive me. Try to understand, please. I have told you to stay away from our face. Haven't I? Yes, baby, you did. But I was only trying to help a friend. Oh, help a friend? Have you seen where it has landed you? Do you know how much I spent to bear you out there? Do you know? Yes, I know, and I appreciate you for it. Please, my love, this won't repeat itself again. Please. Listen, today will be the first and last I will step my foot into your kiss again. If that girl is so wise enough, she would have left that marriage long ago. Not you, going up and down, plotting unnecessary moves. Baby, why are you talking like this? Uh, baby, please. Why there's been no kind of explanation To all the crazy things you've done Oh yeah From the wrongest person. Chairman. Jasper, please. Please. I'm sorry. Shut up. I hate sorry. I don't believe in sorry. You. I trusted you. I even wanted to marry you. What do I get in return? You stole my money. Well, nobody steals from Jasper. I love you, please. please. You love me. I wear my for the walk. Umaze wole kenko. Bulletproof. Strangle her. Why there's been no kind of explanation to all the crazy things you've done? Oh yeah. Ma, good afternoon, ma. Ma, good afternoon. I'll get back to you. Okay, ma. Ma, I have this, ma. A pass ma. From who? From one tall fair lady, ma. Oh. She, used, she used to come to this house all the time. You don't know her name. Mm, no, ma. Okay, no, go back to your place. I'll get back to you. Yes, okay, ma. 
Why did you deny her access? I thought you had done with her, sir. Yes, I have, but except that um, she asked me to fire you. What? Are you going to do that, sir? I don't know what I'm going to do. Hope you've sacked him. I changed my mind. Why? Because that's not the right thing to do. Sweetheart, you just introduced me to your mom as your wife to be. So why are you finding it difficult to do the wish of the woman you claim to love and spend the rest of your life with? Baby, oh. I never said I love you. So why are we talking about marriage then? Oh, because I need to get married. <laughs> the man you are telling me to serve is the more reason in my life today. And uh, I hope you have a father in Obiago who does tiring for a living. Are you sure? Baby, how did you know about that? That was the first thing Ken Siri found out about you. Believe me, if I sack him, he will get at your father and wipe off all your family members. Just in one day. <laughs> Sweetheart, in that case, Kinsley needs to be promoted. You know? mm. <laughs> that will change your mind. <laughs> Listen, doctor, I can't read all this. Summarize the message for me. Well, this is what I wanted to bring, Shan, before you took it from me. Some more things. What's going on? Uh, from the medical test carried out on you, you are medically fit to impregnate any woman. Why then am I finding it difficult to make babies? Well, that I cannot tell. Name me the fault my brief from your wife. You're very stupid. Sorry, sir. Don't tell me sorry. I hate that word, sorry. I don't even believe in sorry. You've carried out several tests on my wife and told me she is medically fit to make babies, right? Yes, of course. 
So what is the problem? Well, Mr. Jasper, that I cannot tell. I married my wife a virgin. Okay? And according to your medical report, she is fit. According to your medical report, I am fit. So why are we finding it difficult to have children? Or if I may say, my be a spiritual conspiracy. You see why I said you are a stupid and confused doctor? Can you imagine? A medical doctor talking about spiritual conspiracy. It's obvious you're stupid and confused. A medical doctor telling me that it might be a spiritual problem. It's possible. From this moment, you cease to be my doctor. Mr. Jasper. What do you want? What do you want? I want to leave, Ma. You can't leave this house. Ella, I said you can't leave this house. He needs to see you when he returns. Because if he doesn't, I will be in trouble. Ella, I said you can't leave. Ma. You can't leave! Get out. Jasper, what is the meaning of this nonsense you have done? The amount you wrote here is not what you agreed on. Okay, take it as you see it. That's what I can offer. In other words, you will pay the balance later. I'm done with you. I am serious about this, Jasper. You know we've been in this business for years. And each time, and you know that each time I make sense, I have a lot of people to settle. Why give me this peanut? I am here to drink, not to talk business. You are bugging me. Get out. <laughs> Good and fine then. Take your check and return my diamond. Yes, I mean it. Take your check and return my diamond. Even if you don't have respect, you should have fear. Makana and the but they will. Like I said, you are bugging me. Get out. Nonsense! What is the matter with you, Jasper? A business we've been on for years. Now you are turning back to tell me that you pay me what you like. Bulletproof. Boss. Something new.
Ještě jenom fren! Did you take care of the girl? Very well, sir. I believe by now she should be in the hospital, recovering from the beating we gave to her. I believe it will take months for her to recover, sir. I want you to find her and bring her back to me. That would be somehow impossible, sir. Why? I believe by now police must have stepped into the matter. Investigating on her behalf, sir. Who's the police? My friend can't get me the gear I asked you to get for me and uh, stop lecturing me. Get out! Let's be, sir. My mother might be answered. Jasper! <laughs> Jasper. What's the, what's the meaning of this? You're not supposed to be here. Where is Ella? Just what is this? I am not seeing what is this? It's an ordinary calabash. An ordinary calabash. Jasper, this fetish thing is an ordinary calabash. I've always known. You know, I was so blind, I was daft, I was blinded with love that I didn't even notice it when it's written all over you. Just by your fetish, you your ritualist for Christ's sake. Just by you tied my womb. I couldn't give you a child and you blame me for everything. What are you talking about? Just by you tied my womb. No one that can even conceive. No one that can give you a child. And you blame me for everything. Just by you caused it. This is just a calabash. I bought it from the art gallery. Who are you lying to? You think I'm still blind? No, I can't see. You know, you should be saying your last prayer. Because by the time I'm done smashing this, it will be gone. And whatever power you have over me is gone. Slept on my couch. Do you know how much I bought this? Can your miserable poor family afford it? You slept on my couch. Listen, you will be sleeping in my room 247. Do you understand? 
Let me know. Do you understand? Sir, please. Can you allow me to leave? Can I allow you to leave? No. You are going nowhere. Go to the dining room. I'm coming. I want you to feed me. Why is the hatred so strong? Why there's been no kind of explanation to all the crazy things you've done? Brother. Her neighbor said she didn't come back yesterday, but she got a call that she was hospitalized. Did I tell you where she is? The yes. hospital where she is? Yes, that's where we are going now. Now, what for this? Uh, girl. You know, go let go of this small people, this small girl. You're the usual, the tonton. I don't understand that more. That one, no concern you now. It's not our business. Our job is to find the girl. Yes. And you know, our job is at stake. Yes. Let's go. And no phone, you're watching now, Paul. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Why is the hatred so strong? Why there's been no kind of explanation to all the crazy things you've done? Oh yeah. How? Listen, in a nutshell, what are you trying to say? They seized my container. Me. Me. Are you stupid? Who does that? Why would they seize my container? What? Listen, I will. Hold on. Leave me, leave me, leave me. Have a up, Paul. I'm not in the good anymore. Uh, Oga, listen, 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 listen. I can be very dangerous when I'm angry. What are you saying, my friend? Those goods are not contraband. I know what I bought. How? In fact, I'm coming. To you. <laughs> If I my brother had done by Benson, he done by Lander, 
Everybody see him as he spend the cash. He was a very good boy. You asked for her and here she is. My daughter, please I'm sorry for what happened. But you shouldn't have insulted me. Have you seen what your son did to me? Just, just take a look up. Just take a look at what your son did to me. I swear to God you'll pay for this. I'll make sure that he please hear of this. And for your information, I just finished speaking with the Inspector General of Police. So once you are done recovering in your treatment, straight to jail, Osbunje. No, my son. Please, let her go. You've punished her enough. What have I ever done to you? So you came into my life just to cripple me. You insulted my mom. So you have to pay for it. I want to show you how much I love you. I don't play with you. I can kill her if you want. No, let her go. You almost crippled her. And that's unfair. So what do you want me to do to her as a punishment? I want you to buy her a car. A car? Yes. Go. Buy her a car to compensate her for what you did to her. At least after that, she can stay away from you. Why is the hatred so strong? Consider such thoughts in your small head. Do you know what it means to be killed? For Christ's sake, I thought you were a Christian. Yes, ma'am, I am. But the man we are talking about here has caused me so much pain. Ever since I came into this house, it has been one issue or the other. And it's affecting you. You were not like this the first time I came into this house. Ella, no matter what you do in life, don't ever consider mother as an option. I'm sorry, ma. You asked for my opinion, and I think killing him is not a bad idea. Never heard about him. That's because we are new in this town, sir. But he's not your match, sir. Yes. You will not challenge me. Pastor. Boss. Get me his profile. And do me some underground finding. No problem, boss. See you see. Ten or ten. My son, I was hearing your voice from inside. I hope all is well. All is well. I have settled out with a car, so you don't need to disturb me about her again. That's so nice of you, my son. 
I am happy now. I love you, son. Mm. Let's go inside. Your food is ready. You, you didn't tell me you are coming. Why did you call me before coming? Oh, man. I'm sorry for not calling you before coming. My phone is faulty. I've told you that before. Why are you worried? Oh, are you not happy seeing me? Mm -hmm. Can I have permission to come from the other one? Where is your husband? I'm also here to see. My husband, he, he actually stepped out. Okay. Okay. Mama, come in. Wait, are you saying your bedroom is no longer yours? Emma, that is what I am telling you. Jasper threw me out of the bedroom and brought in the maid. My own matrimonial bedroom, Mama. Eh? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Where did he go? It is for an appointment. You mean all this happened? And you never tried to return home? How can I return home? Several times I've attempted to leave this house. But Jasper wouldn't let me. Mama Jasper has practically turned me into a house help in my own house. You need to see the security details Jasper has now. Jasper is no longer the man we know. Nonsense. No sense! I will wait for him until he returns. Then I will talk some sense into his head. Mama, Chelo. Mama, Chelo. You, you cannot do that to me. You only worsen in my situation. Eh eh! Eh eh! He came on and asked, what's the problem? I'm considering your offer. What offer are you talking about? I want to join your group. I need protection. Agent, what was the meaning of what you told me on the phone? So I'm very sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. The owners of this property called earlier to inform me that Mr. Spanner here has shown interest on this property earlier. So, what is Mr. Spanner?
Indomi baby. Spaghetti boy. Even if you don't have fear, you should have respect. Now you listen and listen real good. Over my dead body, will I let you have that property? <laughs> you must be a comedian. No, you are the one who looks like a comedian. But I know how to handle your type. You have 10 minutes to go out of my way with this year. He's left out all your foolish but the guards. I have a day, she, but don't waste your bullet. This is not a right decision. But she, he refused. Um, I don't know. He used to be a very sweet man. However, he changed. I don't know. I don't understand. Jasper has turned into something else. He's no longer the man. <laughs> Sit down. What is going on here? Oh, you are welcome back. Oh, you're welcome, madam. Keep your welcome to yourself and answer my question. My in law, you are very stupid. Yes, you are stupid and senseless at the same time. How dare you visit someone like me without calling my phone? Are you mad? Ebo, zoo. Oh. Common sense is not common. You want me to call you so that you will cook your usual lies for me and dissuade me not to visit. Now I've known what is going on. She has told me everything. She has told me how shameless you are by fornicating outside your marriage. I thought I you are a human, human being man. when you came to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. Eh, it is not okay. Please, don't okay me. Don't. Look at my daughter's face and tell me if she is still the little girl I handed to you in marriage many years ago. All right, um, confused woman. I don't blame you. Because poverty has eaten deep into your skull. If you must know, your little girl is nothing but a spoiled, barren rat. As a matter of fact, I regret all the money I spent on her. Now is still time for you to send her away. So that she will go and meet real men. Real men that will appreciate her for her kind-hearted being she is, not a frustrated animal like you. Really? Well, in case you don't know, sending your barren daughter out of my house is not a problem. The problem is who will give me back the money I spent on her. All the doings, money, shopping, taking her out. I bought a car for her. I paid her bread price. Who will refund my money? You are sitting down there telling me with your ugly face. He send her back home. Where is my money? Who, who, who will refund me? Some people will remove 
Refund me and let me send her packing. Bulletproof. My daughter is not bad. Yeah, it was Boss. Alright. Alright. Boss. 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 I got one in a confused old looking woman. What's up? Even even as we around. My daughter is not buried. Slap you. I'm sorry, sir. If, if I slap you, your spirit will jump out of you. Listen, you are my wife. So cut down on the yes, sir. Fine, sir. Stop shivering at the sight of me. Get me a new name, something romantic. Give me that where sugar pie, honey pie, my love, sexy baby, sexy. In fact, call me biscuit, but be romantic for once. Do you understand? Oh my God, Osuko Kesa. Okay, let me choose one for you. Call me honey. Can you do that? Come 
Listen, I'm not that bad, like bad, 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 no. Okay? Just that the frequency is A1. So I want you to meet up so we can be on the same frequency. Do you understand? I'm not a bad person, okay? Just that I take life too serious. I expect everybody around me to do the same. Do you understand? So relax and act like my wife, okay? Smile. 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 I said smile. Let me see your teeth smile, like smile. Let me see your teeth smile. Don't you have teeth? I said smile. Good. I'm hungry. Get me food. You have three minutes to do that. Fast. You have three minutes to do that. Why is the hatred so strong? Why there's been no kind of explanation to all the crazy things you've done? Hmm. I think this is the great opportunity for me to deal with this wicked man. I will poison this food. He will eat and die. Evil man. Why is the hatred so strong? Why there's been no kind of explanation? dream about you last night and I don't think it's safe for you to go out today Please. Mama, I've told you I don't believe in dreams leave me here, I'm not afraid of anybody Chukwebuka don't be as stubborn as your father Mama, I'm not like my father so please don't compare me to him then you listen to me your mother okay fine, let me just go to the church and see the priest Thank you so much, my son. But be very careful. You are in my prayers, okay? Boys, let's go. Let's go. So, boss, go in your turn up. You can chew. It's time to tell you now they won't be there, man. Even if you don't have to I will strangle you alive. I'm 
Ujumbe buzo Uzo na uweko Ego na chua bojo Haya ya hiyo Iyaha Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I never want to be there. I never want to be there. Kinsley, where do you say we are going to? We have been working for hours since we left our motor there. It's for our own good. You need protection, sir. I've told you I'm not in this protection chain. Sir, didn't you see the way bullet was flying all over Jasper? You need something like that, sir. Let's go. We, are, we will soon be there, sir. We are close to the place. See the place there. Wait, wait. How long does it take a poison to work after taking it? Any idea? No, ma. Do you mind telling me why you asked? Jasper. Jasper has beaten more than he can chew. I can take anything from him. But laying his filthy hands on my mother. I will not tolerate that. I know his death is my only way out of this marriage. And I will make sure he suffers. I will make him suffer before he dies. <laughs> Mwana mwana nyachuba. Ovela, you can't say it. No mortal can kill him. No mortal can kill him. I fortify him today. Unemia, I can't bring kids. Unemia. 
ko to ba no fia o je kuro tisi o to ba ma do je kuro ma dibia iye wo ko na ajo na ifi o di ampa ife wo ko na ajo na aba na o di ampa as mo ni ba asame pele as mo ni ba asame pele i want to fortify him let us fortify him no weapon shall penetrate him no weapon shall kill him no man born of a woman shall kill him confirm o ko no me no o me no o ko eke oria afo ono oku ono wan elu ala as mo ni ba asame pele make it <coughs> Young man, what is that your name again? Espana. Espana. Yourself together. <laughs> this is where your power lies. With this, no man born of a woman shall kill you, no bullet shall penetrate you, but make sure you wear it always. <laughs> If this thing works, <laughs> I will reward you handsomely. <laughs> I am the great Ijele. I cannot say what I cannot do. Now is the time to test the efficacy of my power. Stand up. Jelen. What do you want to do? I want to test the efficacy of my power on him. If anything happens to my boss, both of us will die here. Speak less, young man. <laughs> Keep your hand this way. Keep your hand like Where's my son? Where's my son, Chukwebuka? How can you go out with him and you came back alone? Where is he? Where's my son? Anything happened to me once in my life? No. Not anything happened. 
Just go inside and come. Prepare delicious food for you. And just, just that you are not going to leave this house again today. Okay. Let's go inside. No problem. Just go and the food out. I'm coming inside. Yes, boss. See why he's dead. Yes, boss. Locate his cuffs and take him to the neutral. No problem, boss. Thank you. So, come with me. All right, sir. What is it? Mom, I need to see a priest. And why do you want to see a priest? Uh, there's something I never told you. Anytime something good wants to happen, sickness will just come back <coughs> from nowhere. And all the money I realized from the business. I'm telling you, I'm an ego now. And why have you not told me all this way? Mama, you have been far from me. Mama, come here to me a lot. I need to confess to a priest. Chukwebuka, how deep is your commitment? Indomi baby. Spaghetti boy. You have beaten more than you can chew. Take a man walking on the wall, but then what? Bulletproof boss. Settle him. Shoes. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm 
Mozi of Wagon in a war. Shoot, Nedra Moja will talk. I'm happy. Stop. Stop. I'm happy. Don't shoot him. He's your son, please. Don't shoot him. Mom, do you know this bastard? Yes. He's your father. Sin. He's your father. Agent, what was the meaning of what you told me on the phone? Sir, I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. The owners of this property called earlier to inform me that Mr. Spanner here has shown interest on this property earlier. So, what is Mr. Spanner? Indomie baby. Spaghetti boy. Even if you don't have fear, you should have respect. Now you listen and listen real good. Over my dead body, will I let you have that property? You must be a comedian. No, you are the one who looks like a comedian. But I know how to handle your time. You have ten minutes to go out of my way with this year. Who's left out? All oh, your foolish but the gods. I have a day, she, but don't waste your bullets.
Indomie baby, you have beaten more than you can chew. It's time to tell you now they won't be there. Even if you don't have the Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, Angelina. I told him I was pregnant. And he promised to take responsibility and to see my people so they can discuss marriage. I was so happy, but my mother never liked it. My mother never liked him because of the way I used to tell her how he normally beats me. He wondered how I'm going to cope when he finally gets married to me. I didn't want to tell anybody about the pregnancy until I was sure of him coming. Then when my parents got to know that I was pregnant, that was the last time I saw a head from him. They were so disappointed that the man in question was never anywhere to be found. I suffered alone. My parents rejected me. I suffered until I gave birth to you, Chukwebuka. My father. Where are Bobo and the wicked? This is my father. Yes, he's your father. And the same man I told you not to copy his lifestyle. I didn't know he was still alive. Because I caused him to remain childless until death. Angelina, I understand how you feel. And you have every right to be angry. But truth be told, it's not my fault. I traveled out of Aba without telling anyone because my agent advised I do so. But when I got back, I searched for you. Believe me, I searched for you everywhere. But to now, so I decided to get married. But since then, my wife has been suffering from childlessness. Am I the proud male? I left her that way, Bado. 
That was where I gave birth to him. You abandoned me. You abandoned your child. What have I done to you? Angela, I, I understand how you feel. But like I said, I'm sorry. No young boy wants to talk about family without being financially stable. A woman can learn something. But having said that, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I am ready to write my own. As for my son here. Don't ever, ever in your life touch me. Mama, you see this man sitting here is my father. See? Mm -hmm. I don't wish to have you, you, as my father. Now leave. Please sit. I don't wish to sit down. Talk, I can hear you. My lovely wife, please, I'm sorry, forgive me, I know I've wronged you in so many ways, please, I'm sorry. I've, call, I've called the police and told them to release your mother. I, I don't understand. Are you for real or is this one of your jokes? I'm not joking. You can go pick her up from the police station. From the deepest part of my heart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you all this while. Sorry for not keeping to my promise. Please, we can start afresh. I am now a changed person. I don't understand your sudden change of mind. 
Jasper, for Christ's sake. You treated me like a slave in this house. Jasper, you threw me out of our matrimonial room. My love, I, I was frustrated. I was confused. Let's just call it youthful exuberance. I, I can't even explain what came over me. But please, forgive me. I'm sorry. I am... I am the reason for our childlessness. I, I, I got someone pregnant and abandoned her. Out of anger, she cursed me that I will never have my own child. That's the reason you've not been able to conceive. Listen, doctor, I can't read all this. Summarize the message for me. Well, this is what I wanted to give Michelle before you took it from me. And what is what's going on? Uh, from the medical test carried out on you, you are medically fit to impregnate any woman. Why then am I finding it difficult to make babies? Well, that I cannot tell. Maybe the fault might be from your wife. You're very stupid. Don't tell me sorry. I hate that word, sorry. I don't even believe in sorry. You've carried out several tests on my wife and you told me she is medically fit to make babies, right? Yes, of course. So what is the problem? Well, Mr. Jasper, that I cannot tell. I married my wife a virgin, okay? And according to your medical report, she is fit. According to your medical report, I am fit. So why are we finding it difficult to have children? Or if I may say, it might be a spiritual conspiracy. You see why I said you are a stupid and confused doctor? Can you imagine? A medical doctor talking about spiritual conspiracy. It's obvious you're stupid and confused. A medical doctor telling me that it might be a spiritual problem. From this moment, you cease to be my doctor. Jasper. Jasper! What's up? 
What's the meaning of this? You're not supposed to be here. Where is Ella? Just what is this? I am asking you, what is this? It's an ordinary calabash. An ordinary calabash? Jasper, this fetish thing is an ordinary calabash? I've always known. You know, I was so blind, I was daft, I was blinded with love that I didn't even notice it when it's written all over you. Just by your fetish, you? you're a ritualist for Christ's sake. Just by you tied my womb. I couldn't give you a child and you blame me for everything. What are you talking about? Just by you tied my womb. No one that can even conceive, no one that can give you a child. And you blame me for everything! Just by you cost it! This is just a calabash. I bought it from the art gallery. Who are you lying to? You think I'm still blind? No, I can't see. You know, you should be saying your last prayer. Because by the time I'm done smashing this, it will be gone. And whatever power you have over me is gone. you all these years of childlessness just by all those years you labeled me barren all these years I have bared the pain of not having my own child you frustrated me It was all your fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. I, I, I abandoned her because I needed to fix my life. I needed to. I. I looked for her when I wanted to marry, but she was nowhere to be found. Please, let's start afresh. I'm now a changed person, Ella. Ella, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please. Why? Jasper, why did you say it yesterday? Why did you say it a few hours ago? Why? Because it's too late. What have you done? Please, my son, forgive him. Mom, why should I forgive him? Why? Because he's your father. And you need him. Mom, I don't need him. I have been surviving all these years without him. So, he's nothing to me. You can do it for me, Chukwebuka. I never knew I would see him in this life again. But I believe God has a purpose for doing this. Please. Mom, 
And what's it again, Amo? Having you alone in my life is enough for me. I don't need a father. Not an arrogant one. Chukwebuka. You told me you want to confess and make amend. This is the first step of making that amendment. Forgiveness. Forgive him, please. That arrogant man abandoned you to raise me all alone. And I know how you suffered. I know. I suffered. I suffered so much to the point of cursing him. But here I am pleading on his behalf. If I can forgive him, I know you can do that too. Please. Yes, we are here. What do you want? Please, we are here to see Mr. Jasper. He's not in. Where did he go to? He was rushed to the hospital. Which hospital, please? The legal clinic. She prays for you. Every night she prays for you. And she cries for you. Every time she.
I'm 